to Cinema Jaw, the greatest movies podcast ever. You're watching Cinema Jaw. We're here live at C2E2. We're getting a video this time, Rye. I'm Rye the Movie Guy. I'm Matt Kay. I Should think they know that. that at this point. Absolutely. And uh, we want you guys to check out our podcast over at cinemajaw.com, but also check out this amazing interview we just had with Tony Moore. That's right. And we got a bunch more interviews today. So if you want the full episode, go to our iTunes. We'll put a link somewhere around this video. Check us out. Enjoy. We are back on Cinema Jaw, again recording live at C2E2 here in Chicago. Matt, we got another guest. I know. This is this is the best thing about C2E2. Literally, you never know who's going to walk by. We, I swear to God, we didn't go over to his booth and beg him to be here. Tony Moore is joining us. Good to be here. How you doing, man? How's the show been? It's been pretty, pretty nonstop. Yeah. Especially on Saturday, I bet. Yeah, it's been a hell ride. I saw sure. the line coming off your booth extending all the way to the door and there. Tony, in this yep. section, you got the longest line in this area. It's uh it's it's been surprising, I, I gotta say. It's uh it's a new experience. <laughs> and I should mention for some of the jawheads out there that may not know, Tony's of course famous as one of the creators of Walking Dead. And that's uh, that's a pretty cool accolade to have under your belt right there. Oh thanks, thanks, man. Matt is a humongous fan of Walking Dead. It's all he talks about is Walking Dead, so that's not completely true but I, I, I love zombies and obviously I mean when you talk about zombies Walking Dead seriously any any media of, of course now it's the, t the TV show mm -hmm. how uh, involved with you with with that were you uh, the show I'm pretty much out of the loop there I uh, yeah out of the loop completely were you happy with yeah. it I mean obviously you've seen it yeah yeah I, I watched it every week when it came out and everything yeah. you know so but uh, yeah I thought I thought as the show as you know as the show goes it was pretty great um, you know, I was amazed at how how faithful they were visually to the stuff that I did in the book. Yeah. Um, yeah. I went out to the premiere in L.A. and got to talk to some of the producers and stuff, and uh, they were amazing and uh, all really warm and 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 receptive to the work I'd done in the book, and and uh, had told me that they really did their best to try to capture the the atmosphere and stuff of my artwork, which. It really, it really did. I mean, uh, when I first started seeing images pour in, yeah, uh, I was really taken aback. I mean, it looked like they just reached into my head and pulled the images right out. I That's got to be wild, man. It, it's really surreal. I mean, like, uh, yeah. I mean, surreal is the only word that really captures it. It's really wild. The the one image, of course, that comes to to my mind is the one they used on the poster, where uh, he's Rick is going down the highway and yeah. he's on the horse yeah. and. That is such an iconic, iconic shot at this point, you know. Yeah, I, I'm, yeah, and seeing that, seeing that image, you know, over and over, all over the place. I mean, it was on billboards. Yeah. In every main drag in L.A. when we were out there, uh, and I've got friends who send me snaps of it on the subway in like New York and Philly and stuff like that. It's and here in Chicago as well. It's it's really wild. <laughs> I mean, I mean, because you know when we did that book, uh, you know, it didn't sell that many copies at, at, in the beginning at all. Right. And you know when we before it even launched like there were only maybe a couple horror books out at that point so the genre was you know pretty much non-existent um and then hollywood kicked open the door with the zombie stuff right as we launched the book and i mean it just rode the wave and it was awesome now that's actually an interesting question you think hollywood kicked open the door or do you think that you guys had a hand in getting that door kicked open well i don't know i mean i guess uh i, I would say we were kind of benefactors of, of um, you know like Shaun of the Dead and, and the, sure. the Night of the Living Dead right. or the uh, the day of Dawn of the Dead remake that yeah. they did and stuff like that um, which was excellent um, and then you know the video games and all that stuff it, it I mean there was a lot of stuff that was like in the works in Hollywood unbeknownst to us you know we we just knew we were making a, a book that was like the movies that we loved and then it you know like yeah right as we launched it uh, Hollywood had all this other stuff and it was like a, a wave all at once i guess it was just kind of in the zeitgeist you know ready to be tapped and you know like i don't know how coordinated the effort was uh but i know i know we had no idea it was about to happen and and were you always drawing uh, zombies and that type of genre um or did you more or less get into that no i've been a fan of the stuff for as long as i can remember okay. um yeah and when robert and i were working on um, Battle Pope and, and Brit and other stuff like that. Uh, when we would take a break, 
in the studio, we'd go watch zombie movies. Um, you know, and we've, we've been and we'd known each other since we were kids. You know, we, we were in seventh grade history class together. So like all through school when we were kids, you know, we'd sleep wow. over at the other guy's house and rent movies. You know, like my mom didn't mind what we watched, so we'd rent you know whatever horrible thing we could find at the video store and yeah you know geek out it every night you know but you should you should be really proud of what you've done for not only zombies but pop culture in, in general and now with the tv show i think you guys have really you know put that genre on the map for real so well, i mean i'm glad to have been of service <laughs> because you know what matt's a huge zombie fan i, I mean more than you know a lot of times the vampire seems to be getting a lot of talk in hollywood no. and, and matt gets so <laughs> upset and then here comes walking dead the tv show just it, it, it probably had the most i guess uh what would you say the most critical acclaim out of anything that hollywood's doing anyways yeah all right yeah because horror horror tends to get brushed aside in general it's uh you, you always hear like it's pretty good for a horror movie oh mm-hmm. uh, you know, and I've always felt that was a slight on the entire genre in general. Uh, but you know, to to have like the show come out and and people really uh, appreciate it for the you know the human drama and stuff. Uh, it's it's really, I mean, kind of moving. I, I don't know really how to how to exp- how to describe it, but uh, you know, it it's cool. I mean, it's really impressive. Uh, you know. It is impressive, for sure. Putting you on the spot, what's your favorite zombie movie of all time? Ooh. My favorite zombie movie of all time, I have to say maybe Dead Alive. Nice. That's my pick, too, man. Yeah? Yeah. I, I mean, it's it. a gore fest. It's so campy and goofy. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's it's beautiful, though. I'm this man glad, has good taste. I'm glad I saw it because Matt had lent it to me. I hadn't seen it until about a year ago. Oh, dude, it's a winner. <laughs> it's a winner. A Peter Jackson masterpiece. Yeah, it's a it classic, is. man. So what are you working on now? Uh, right now I'm working on Venom over at Marvel. Sweet. Uh, yeah, the classic 90s Spidey villain. Um, kind of revamped. He's a, uh, It's a new guy who's the host. Yeah. And uh, it's, I know. Ryan yeah, doesn't yeah. know, but I know. It's Flash Thompson, who's okay. uh, 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 he's been in the Peter Parker mythos for forever. He, mm-hmm. he was his high school bully, and he slowly became his, his good friend. And then went off to war and got his legs blown off. Um, and now he's still working for the government, trying to do his bit. Um, and he wears the Venom suit. It's like a Black Ops kind of Spider-Man. So, awesome. Yeah, that is really cool, man. I can't wait to check it out. It's yeah, it's a lot of fun, and, and it's Rick Remender and I. We worked together on a lot of stuff over the years. Um, we did Frankencastle, which is a Punisher um, turned into Frankenstein's monster uh, arc, which was a lot of fun. And before that, we've been working on Fear Agent over at Dark Horse, uh, which is kind of a booze fueled uh, space opera space western kind of thing um, so yeah we get to do a lot of crazy stuff together and it's it's been awesome cool yeah yeah and, and how, what would you say uh, about the festival uh, C2E2 just a blast isn't it it's a hell of a thing it, sure it really is, is. Want to hit our poll question, right? Yeah, we had a poll question up, uh, voting all day, people coming by. What movie out of the comic movies this summer are you anticipating the most? The one you want to see the most. Here's your choices. You got Green Lantern, Thor, or Captain America? I'd I'd say maybe Thor. Yeah? Seems to be the way that all the the creative people are going, yeah. Yeah, I I mean, I got a lot of love for the the Kirby stuff, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm really excited to see how it goes. Me too. Plus, I know there's a strong chance that my wife will go with me to see that one. <laughs> she would probably go to Green Lantern, too. I mean, Ryan Reynolds in spandex. Yeah, I, it, she, it, he doesn't do it for her the way uh, this, uh, wow. this guy Sexiest does. Wow, sexiest man alive, you know? Yeah. 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 So uh, a couple guest questions. We always end the interviews with some goofy questions. Get to know the guests for the All jawheads right. out there. Uh, you could take a one-week vacation with one of the two characters. Who do you go with, Han Solo or Indiana Jones? Oh man, that's tough. That's yeah. tough. These are these are really grueling questions. Yeah, well, you know, I didn't know I was being put through the ringer here. They, I would. They keep you up at night. Yeah, it might. It might. Huh. I'm gonna say Han Solo. No, no, Han Solo. I agree. I agree. <laughs> I thought for sure you were gonna say Indiana Jones. Uh, and I, you know, I I am a nerd. Um, <laughs> surprise, I know. So I think maybe Indy and I would, um, I would have a lot more things to talk to him about. But I think Han Solo has more fun. And he could probably get you to more places, you know, with the Millennium Falcon and all yeah. that. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the other question is, they're making a movie based on your life. 
What director do you want dire directing the film? Terry Gilliam. Ooh, nice pick. good pick. We, we got to ask him the, uh, you're having a dinner party. Who do you want to join you more? Jason, no, from, I'm sorry, Patrick, Patrick Bateman, Bateman from uh, American Psycho or Hannibal Lecter? Mm. I always say Jason Bateman. <laughs> Jason Bateman. Yeah, he, he could be there too. Uh, I'd say I'd say Hannibal Lecter. As long as he was still on the dolly with the mask and everything. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> then he wouldn't have much to say with the uh, with the mask on. He'd be mumbling a lot. I just don't want him to get my, his hands on me. <laughs> Well, this has been awesome. Yeah, real treat. Thanks so much. Tony Moore, oh, thanks, thanks for joining yeah, us. Yeah, thanks a lot, Tony, and uh, have a great rest of the festival. All right, you guys too, man. All right. See you around. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Cheers.